yeah, proud of our team for earning the opportunity to host this round and just really proud of the University of Washington and their rally behind our team, our program, um, and just giving these young women the opportunity to compete in an amazing venue um, for the opportunity to win a national championship. Um, it's a great field. It's a great group of teams that we have the opportunity to play and couldn't be more excited to roll out there on Friday night. You guys got a week off, obviously in between. The bye we had last weekend couldn't have come at a better time for this team. We've worked all season, uh, you know, really no, nonstop. And uh, some of our players have played on national teams in the summer, and it's been a long year. So that week off was nice and uh, ready to get back after it this Friday night. What do you do at Boise State, Hillary? Uh, we know a lot about them as a program. Just uh, one of our former coaches, uh, an athlete that I coached at Pacific in my first coaching stint is their head coach. A lot of these guys, when they were being recruited, she was here on staff, so we're very familiar with each other. Uh, obviously, we know that they run a great program. Uh, they're an emerging team in the Pacific Northwest, and we're happy to have um, another team in our region. Uh, that's very good to be able to compete against. Um, I think at this point we just, you know, as a whole staff, pitching staff, um, you know, team, we just try to keep doing what we're doing. Um, yeah, I mean, there might be logistics that you change up a little bit depending on who you face, but um, overall, I think we just we just stick true to who we are and how we play the game of softball. This is um, second year now. Last year was the freshman. Um, yeah, last year we made it to the uh, Women's College World Series, and that was pretty cool, like, as a group for us to all get that together. And I think that um, just having that experience together has molded us into a really special group of girls and um, just taking it pitch by pitch with each other. Um, like I said, like I feel like our team has gotten so much good chemistry, and that's a big part of our success. And just keep going together. Sharon, how has having Gabby in the lineup helped you this year? Um, more ways than I think, just like one specific. I mean, physically, I mean, having another person that you can go in there and share time with is. I mean, I think any pitcher would be really thankful for that. Um, and then she. We, we feed off of each other's energy. We feed off of, you know, how we pitch. And and I think, you know, she's we're good. We equal each other out. And, you know, I think that's what a good team needs to, to be successful is to have, you know, two pitchers who can go in and, you know, and really get the job done. Is it less sort of like physically, I guess, pressing for you to feel like you have to play every game? I don't think it's so much as like the feeling of being pressed or having to go in. I mean, I think just, you know, at the end of the season when you play X amount of games, you know, four years in a row, that's going to take a toll on anybody's body. But mentally, I don't think it's pressing at all. I think, you know, I mean, yeah, it's nice, but it also creates a, you know, a form of competition that's a healthy one. You know, we, we both want to be better, and so we, we work to beat each other, but be great at the same time. Julia or Taylor, the two of us. Um, I guess Taylor's going first. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Um, I guess uh, your last go-around in the postseason. Um, you guys have gotten there, gotten close. I mean, what's your mindset going into this? And you know, going to see the last time uh, in the postseason. Yeah, um, I think we've started to talk about this a lot as a team, but it's um, about needing it and not just wanting it. And last year, we got a taste of the World Series for the first time in our careers. And um, we want to get back. I mean, that's that's the dream for anyone at a young age, and that's the goal for our team. And something that we talk about when we step on the field together in September, and even when we lost that last game last year, it lights a fire under you. So um, we, we need it. We don't just want it. And what is it about this team you think uh, it takes to take the next step? We're special. We have uh, so many different people on this team that we mesh together well and we play off each other's energy and we have fun, um, but we're competitive and we're tough. We've been through the ringer a little bit. You know, Pac-12 is not easy, but uh, we handle our business and we grow and we learn and I think we're ready for the next step. How 
how I suggest to start this one, obviously, at home. I'm not going to have to worry about travel at all. Just take care of business here. Now we're looking, obviously, at these first two homes. You have to yeah, I think uh, no matter what the seedings were, we were ready. But of course, that means everything to us. We get more games to play on this field, and we love our field more than anything. So I'm glad we get to stay home. Coach, you look at past games that you saw Texas earlier this season. You've got some screens with Minnesota the past couple of years. Is that something you've got, or you just, has this team's changed so much over the course of the season? That's all. I mean, it's always nice to have scouting information from your own games that you've played against teams. So you're not hypothesizing against, uh, well, let's see, this is a common pitcher to us and such. But I think, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to compete your butt off every single pitch. It doesn't matter if you've beat them before. It doesn't matter if they've beaten you before. And we have to take that approach. So it's nameless, faceless, let's go. You guys are in the league for a long time this season. You didn't lose a lot of games. And then the last couple of weeks, you had a sort of six game streak where you, you dropped six in a row. What did that teach you guys about yourself and about what you had to do right here? Um, I just think that we were in every single one of those games. I don't think that those six games felt like losses at all. I think that we learned more about ourselves in those six losses um, than we would have if we won those games. And like I said, it's, or not like I said, but it's just one pitch. Like it was, this game is game of inches and every single game we could have won or, and, or we lost, you know, but it was only by inches. So I just think that we were in all six of those games. We, like Taylor said, we learned from everything and so yeah what did Chase, what, what are some of the things that you guys think that it only takes one pitch and that it's a game of inches um, because we were in every single one of those games and it doesn't matter you know like if you win or lose but sometimes like winning doesn't feel like you win and losing doesn't feel like you lost so um, just it's a game of inches and that we were in every single game and that we're really good and so that's what we learned.